Hey everybody! It's Heather with Motherhood in Hollywood and I am here to talk to you guys about trolls. That's right. I just went and saw the movie. Had so much fun last night at a party and I cannot wait to tell you about it. So you might be wondering, um, Heather, why aren't you in your normal amazing office and studio? Well, I'll tell you. I actually had an audition this morning, so I'm on a movie studio a lot today. And I thought, what better place to do the Wonder Wall Live to talk to you guys about a movie than on a movie lot. So that's where I'm at today. Um, I, I am so excited. You guys can hear also we're right by a parking garage, so you'll probably hear some people with their very bad-ass cars cruising by. Um, so yeah, I'm here. I want to talk to you guys about the movie Trolls. I got to go to an awesome party last night with um, one of my favorite little trolls right there. You see? See my cutie face? And then they also gave us these sweet hats. And if you know anything about me, you know I have no problem wearing ridiculous outfits. So that's what's happening right now. I'm embracing it. We're loving it. We're going with it. Um, if you guys are just logging on to Wonderwall, make sure you let me know where you're logging in from. I love to say hello, hi, and how are you? And um, welcome. Uh, I want to talk to you about trolls, but before we begin, I want to give a huge thank you and shout out, of course, to DreamWorks for inviting me and the lovely people, my friends over at Awestruck TV. If you've not checked out Awestruck TV yet, make sure you do that. Their YouTube channel is so great. They have so many fun videos for moms, yay moms, uh, that star like Glosell and Snooki. Hello, go and check that out. Hi, uh, hi from Rhode Island. Is it Janine? Hope I'm saying that right. Hi from Rhode Island, Janine. Thanks for joining me on Wonder Walk here. We're talking trolls. We're talking all about the movie Trolls. Uh, Channing and I got to go to a very awesome party last night. Thanks again to my friends at Awestruck and at DreamWorks. Yeah, so here's the deal. <clears throat> First of all, let me tell you about this party. We walked in and it was like a wonderland of troll stuff. There was so much color and sparkle and glitter. There was a candy table to end all candy tables. I'm telling you, every little bit of crazy, fun, colorful candy you could think of. You guys, there was a donut wall, a whole wall of donuts that you could just take pictures in front of or go up and like take your donut off and just go to town on. I mean, it was so much fun. There was a photo booth, which you saw here. I got this little picture again. Uh, so Channing and I had a great time. She was not feeling uh, putting on the hair, but I had no problem with it. So I don't mind at all. Um, there's literally people walking by going, oh, what is this crazy doing? And I'm like, listen, this is motherhood in Hollywood. I've got Channing here with me. She's being very good and very quiet right now. So I can talk to you guys about this movie, but this is my life. This is what motherhood in Hollywood is all about. We go to auditions, we see movies, we talk about movies. That's what I'm doing right now. All right. So the trolls party was a lot of fun. There was, um, what else was there there? Oh, there was a little nail stuff going on. There was some drinky drinks, which hello, they totally know what, uh, what parents need. So let's talk about trolls. The, tr the movie stars Justin Timberlake, or I should say uh, one of the main characters is uh, voiced by Justin Timberlake and one of the other ones is voiced by Anna Kendrick. And you guys, Anna Kendrick has such an amazing voice and beautiful voice. Um, I literally had no idea when she first sort of broke onto the scene until she did Pitch Perfect actually, that she could sing so beautifully and she does an amazing job in this movie. And uh, she, I mean, obviously I don't want to give too much away of the film, but I have to tell you, I left feeling like it was so much fun. Like we had just been to a party. Channing was laughing the whole time. We, we saw it in 3D, which was great. I recommend that. Um, it was a lot of fun. There wasn't anything that was particularly like, ah, zooming out, you, you know, that kind of a 3D. It's not like a Marvel movie in 3D. But it definitely was a lot more colorful and bright. And that's one thing I will say. The movie itself is like so trippy <laughs> and fun. It kind of reminded me just a little bit of that old timey um, Alice in Wonderland film, the original Alice in Wonderland animated movie because it was just so trippy, but not like in a way where you're like, what am I doing? I feel like if anybody is smoking the dube while they watch it, uh, they will enjoy it. <laughs> Maybe a little more than the rest of us. Don't do that if you go see it with your kids. All right. I'm not recommending that. 
Um, but it's just a lot of fun. It was the music in it. Of course, it, it was uh, executive produced by Justin Timberlake. Hey, quit it. <laughs> it was executive produced by Justin Timberlake. So, of course, you know the movie was on point. It was so much fun, very energetic. And it, uh, it tells a story about trolls, which, you know, it's not a story I knew needed to be told. But now that I've seen it, I can say it was a lot of fun. The, all the kids in the theater were singing along and enjoying it. But here's what's cool. The parents will really enjoy it, too, because the music is um, retro. There's a lot of classics mixed in with a lot of the new, hip, modern songs. So I think parents will really enjoy that, too. There's also, of course, a few of the side jokes. A, few, a, a couple of little, uh, you know, one of these for the parents, and I think you guys will appreciate that as well. I know we all end up having to go to a lot of... Um, animated films we sit through a lot of animated tv shows and it's always nice whenever filmmakers and uh television makers get our get our humor and like throw us a bone every now and then without being crude i mean it's nothing crude or inappropriate it's just a lot of fun i laughed out loud several times and um there was a lot of twists and turns in the story too, which was really nice. Christopher Mintz Platz uh, is a voice as well. Glozell, who we met at the troll party last night, is one of the voices as well. Russell Brand is in there. It's just got an amazing voice cast, amazing star-studded voice cast. And I don't know if um, your kids are into fun, silly movies, because if they are, this would be a great one to go and take them to. It, again, it's from DreamWorks. It opens up on November the 4th. Uh, do you guys want to go see it? Is anybody planning to go see it? Um, I know I'm getting comments that are coming through. I just can't see them sometimes because I get like a buffering notice um, whenever I'm doing this Facebook thing. So uh, if you're planning to go see it, I'll be able to see your comments in a minute. Feel free to comment too when this video is over. I can always go back in and see you guys. I would love to hear if you're planning to go see Trolls and take your family. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I missed. I want to tell parents who are watching in particular that this is a great story that teaches friendship. It teaches uh, tools about working together. You know, we're always, we're always more looking for movies. We want something that also maybe has a little bit of quality to it, some lessons. It's not just a fluffy, you know, pointless kind of thing. This actually teaches teamwork and friendship and kindness, uh, which is always a really nice thing to, to take away with from movies as well. So um, I've got a very antsy three-year-old here that will not sit still. Watching you. <laughs> yeah. Come here and say hi to everybody on Wonderwall. I promised her if she was good while we talked to everybody hi. on Wonderwall that um, we could go to the pumpkin patch. Have you been good? Have you been good? Yeah. So because uh, she's been such a good listener and being very patient, during my audition this morning here on the studio lot, put your shirt down, Flasher. Sorry. Um, since she's been such a good listener, I promised her we could go to the pumpkin patch. All right, are you being good? Yeah. Did you like the movie Trolls? Yeah. What was your favorite troll? Uh, the pink one. The pink one. The oh, princess The one. princess. Oh, yes. That's Anna Kendrick's character. She plays the princess. And then, who was the other one? Uh, the, the, the Bridget. Bat. Did you like Bridget? Yeah. Yeah. Bridget played, uh, Bridget was a Bergen, and the Bergens are, uh, they eat trolls. So that's all I'll give you. I'll give you just a little nugget um, from the movie there. The Bergens eat the trolls, and it doesn't turn out the way you think it might. Mm-hmm. Um, right? Yeah. Did you like the music in the movie? Mm -hmm. You want you want to wear my hat, don't you? <laughs> she, she wants to wear my hat. All right, you guys. So I'm going to get on up out of here because I have promised someone a pumpkin patch and we got to get to it. Plus, I think I might have to give up my wig. All right. I hope you go and see Trolls also if you get a chance. 
go to motherhoodinhollywood.com and check out my review of the movie. And also make sure you listen to my podcast, Motherhood in Hollywood, where I talk about all things parenting in Hollywood. And uh, we talk to celebrity moms, producers. This week we talked to the executive producer of Louie and Baskets and Better Things. Her name is Blair Briard. I had a great interview with her about the TV shows that she works on. So go to iTunes to subscribe on that. Search Motherhood in Hollywood. Just keep up with all of our adventures here in the land of make-believe. Okay, you ready for Pumpkin Patch? Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. You can like my Facebook page as well, Motherhood in Hollywood, and find me on Twitter at MIH Podcast. And uh, we'll see you on the next Wonderwall Facebook Live. Thanks, Wonderwall, and thanks to Awestruck TV and DreamWorks. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Gotta go.